Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know where my market town is. Can I press like A? Yeah. Um. Okay. It says it's like right above me. Oh, it's right there. Bad music. This is bad. Vandals. Thieve. Girl. Let's move in and block and make sales with your fancy schmancy blue. I know just how to deal with the city boys like you. Hey! <laughs> Who's there? Get your butt back here. He's suspicious. <laughs> Look at that. Dang it, I should have just that for me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you for the, um, ride. Ugh. What? Am I buff? <laughs> oh. He's asleep. <laughs> you answer yourself. I hear your first week was a smashing success. Smashing! Keep it up! I smell profit! You gained three profit points. Profit points. You complete a business path. With above average performance or reach a key business milestone, you earn profit points. Use profit points to pay for one time special business expenses such as business suits, items, and employee training, and more. Oh. The manager is waiting for you in the cafe market. He said something about expense reports. Okay. Taylor's of genius. I want a new suit. Ah. Uh... Oh, hey. You're the new owner here, aren't you? I'm glad I ran into you. I run a local print shop in South Market Town. I just wanted to meet you and let you know if you're looking to get your name out and about. We make some of the best business flyers in town. Here's a free sample of our work. I designed it just for your shop. Lots of owners rely on print media in this small town. It seems uh, to be unusually effective here, as most of the people in Market Town are crazy about getting free stuff. You should give it a try. Next time you run into someone who looks open to it, try giving them that flyer. I'm sure it'll help raise awareness of your business. Cool. Oh, and remember, if you're interested in getting some more, come visit my print shop down in South Market Town. Take care. And there are certain items you can give to people in your order. In fact, how they respond to you and your business. Each person will accept one item, however, and once gifted. The item cannot be exchanged or given back. Giving flies will generally earn your intentional tangible <laughs> benefits such as business awareness. I'm sorry guys, I'm tired. Awareness which can lead to gaining extra profit points. Giving items such as money, lotto tickets, energy drinks, and sandwiches, on the other hand, may meet your more material gains. So try to speak and interact with the locals, discover the hidden opportunities and benefits that come from item gifting. Interesting. I wonder what it means by material gain. Hey. I can't sit down. Oh, hi. <laughs> Listen, sorry if you all reacted last week. Three drinks too many, you know? Anyway, do you have a moment? I walked on top of the table. First, I gotta be straight with you. I'm not here to discuss expense reports. After we found that shady guy outside of a store last week, I figured it was about time I tell you. What happened to the previous owner of that shop we're currently running? Look, Market Town is not really the happy-go-lucky place it seems. Business here hasn't been stable in a long time. The sales receipts aren't revealing much yet since everyone's compensating by overwork. But look closely and you'll start to notice. Strange things. Not too long ago, all the shopkeepers used to be good friends, but with the recent recession and mounting pressure to hit their bottom line, some of them have resorted to questionable business part practices to stay afloat. Naturally, there are casualties. The previous merchant who ran our shop was one of them. Word is his operation was sabotaged by some local. 
no one knows how exactly, but suffice to say that the means these guys will use aren't friendly, let alone legal. The guy I used to work for fed a, met a similar fate, only he chose to dump his employees and hightail out of town. Anyhow, that's what's been going on. I figured it's only right that you should know, seeing as how you're new to town and all. So be sure to be on the lookout for anything suspect. And another thing. I want to tell you that I've come to a decision, and that is that I'm going to trust you and your business. But I swear, with all due respect, if you break that trust and end up being a weasel, or worse, a weakling, I WILL! Never mind. Just DON'T! I don't even have to go there. Relax. We'll be fine. So we'll make our own luck, then. <laughs> Let's see about that. Well, there you have it. We should get going now. The shop will be pretty uh, busy soon. We'll be busy pretty soon. Glad we talked. I love my general manager. Oh. You don't want to miss this once in a lifetime deal. Um, I wonder what's brewing at the shop across the street. Unbeatable sale! Everything's 90% off! Whoa! How's that even... Oh, this looks like a great sale! Let's buy as much as we can! Maybe they're going out of business! Maybe. Still, something doesn't seem right, though. Even they are going out of business. What's with the suicide sale? It's a bit extreme. Hey! What's going on here? Dude, how long are you gonna work for that mom and pop joint? I bet you make what, 10 bucks an hour? Ha, huh, man, that's jump change. Jump change. Yeah, you guys are like oppressed or something. We get 50 bucks an hour and we barely work. You shouldn't put up with that. I'd go on strike if I were you. Yeah, man, strike, get him to show you some respect. Our boss seems alright, but maybe he's taking advantage of us. Heck yeah, our wage is ridiculous compared to theirs. Let's show him. Strike, strike, strike! Ugh, GM from One Stop Shop. What's with that clown driving at? You nitwits, what are you doing? Get back in the shop! Jeez, how could they even fall for such a stupid story? Having some trouble there, neighbor? I suggest you get your stuff together or you won't be able to compete in this town. I knew he looked familiar. That's the guy we saw creeping around the shop last week. So that's what he wanted. He intends to ruin us! We'd better think of something quick before our sales take a dive. Not gonna hold back, are we? Defend your store against a desperate shopkeeper! Yee! Yes! Oh wow, he's cool. Why, you think you can come in and just do good, huh? Well, not at my expense! He's even got like a freaking band aid on his cheek and all sorts of stuff. He's like, I am tough! There's like nicotine things in his, um. Bandana. Vulnerability states. While fighting battles in pods, it is possible for your parent to reach critically low levels. If your power stats reach zero, you enter into a vulnerable state and can no longer use the attack command. Both your money and power stats reach zero, and you have no other viable options. The guard command can be used to minimize damage until you're able to recover. Okay. Um. So a worker strike coming in your power What? Cover. If your power stats remain at zero for more than two, you will automatically cover and be restored to attack level one. Keep in mind that you can also escape vulnerability at any time 
fight. How? By using tactics move to restore your power stats. You can use higher staff move to keep your power of stats above zero and your product promotion move to keep your money stats up. Player one is vulnerable. Player one's turn. That makes which deck do you want to use? Okay, power up. Guard! Sentiving your stats with performance bonuses as you prepare for the desperate uh, shopkeeper's next move. Your guard is up! Lose your customers away with insane deals. Okay. Guard. You refrain from lowering your prices to compete. Instead, look at the other options to attract customers. Your guard is up. Desperate shopkeeper stuff. Desperate shopkeeper pulls out all the stops. Why am I not recovering? I don't understand. Why is this lagging so bad? You, identi you identify the different uh, features between you and your competitor as you prepare for his sales push. Your guard is up. You don't know when to quit, do you? Oh no, the shop's about to take a fall. Oh. Sales scare tactic of limited supply to tempt your customers into buying his products now before it's all gone. Player one recovered from vulnerability and my power. It's all back. <coughs> Critical hit. Capture more customers by offering free Wi-Fi, a clean, relaxing atmosphere, and a limited two-for-one deal on all blue. Ooh, I'm sorry, that was blue products. Desperate shopkeeper excited. What's going on? All oh, right, that was uh, weird. Anyway, desperate shopkeeper excited to work a strike at your company. Your power decreases to zero. Player one is vulnerable. Player one's turn. Higher staff. Higher and more staff. Sales force increases. Your power raised to three. Player one recovered from vulnerability. With hot air and less content, drastically reducing his cost and driving his prices down even lower. Charge attack him. This will end him. <coughs> Refund policy saving money on returns, processing costs. Attack! Plus two. The end is near. This is the final round. I bet you if I can make it good enough, it's back out now. Yes! Bad lemon products with higher quality wants to trick customers into buying from his cheaper stocks to widen his profit margin. Yes! Yes! So close! He says, but really, in reality, he was never close, and he will never be close. Because I'm Meckler. Myron Meckler. That's my name. I think it's loading. I'm lagging right now at an incredible rate. You're in $1,000. You're in one profit points. Five out of your profit meter overall profitability is increased to 18. Attack power base tactics unlocked. With the attack power base ability, you can reduce your opponent's power stats in battle. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. And then we'll we'll come back to here. Uh, this will probably stop my lag. All right.